Hello, y'all. Welcome back. I'm here with part two of the bathroom decluttering and organizing video. I'm just going to kind of take you guys around and give you a little tour. If you missed part one, I'll link it down below. That is where I went through all of the stuff that was in this bathroom. I'm a bit of a product junkie. I do love some products, so I've got a number of them. I'm just going to take you guys through and show you. Now, there are still things that I want to do, and when we actually renovate this bathroom, there are changes I'm going to make, and I'll probably talk a little bit about those as we go around, uh, but not too much. Anything that I purchased for organizing and whatnot, I will link down below in the description box for you if you are currently taking on this project and uh, need some organizing things of your own but also don't forget we're just smack dab in the middle of the declutter challenge um, if you are doing this right along with me tell me down below in the comments but also if you want to be doing it uh, it's totally free to join us it's a free workbook I will link that down below as well so you can join us on our decluttering and organizing journey all right let's go on the grand tour it's not so grand but it's a tour all right so I'm gonna start with this cabinet first this one is directly across from the shower um, as you probably saw in the last video and as I mentioned these are repurposed Billy bookcases from Ikea uh, that I brought down for my daughter's room when I redid their room and um, they actually work really well in here one of you guys suggested in the last video that I add some more shelves to them I might eventually for right now they're working for what I've got so I'm going to show you guys a little bit inside the cabinet on the top shelf here i've just got this bin uh, that i keep all of my like bath items in so things like bubble bath uh, my muscle soak stuff as well as like my little energizer tablets and calming tablets that are for the shower things like that uh, matches for lighting candles and just bath bombs, etc. So all of the like bath accoutrement is here. And then in these acrylic drawers, which is nice because they've just got the little thing to slide open. I've got some uh, overflow of my nail polish. I have some on display below, but just a few more colors here. And then all of the like, you know, like top coats, base coats, and you know, fast drying products, all that kind of stuff, cuticle stuff in this one. And then I just have a few packages of the actual like press on nails left uh, and some perfume as well. Now these are another favorite favorite of mine for organization. You'll see them in my other cabinet as well. And these are from Target. This is from the Bright Room line. I will link these. I really like these because they have the lids. I mean, I don't know, I, I love that. It makes them easy to stack. And I just like the tidiness of it, of not having to see inside of it. Eventually I'm gonna take the time to use my Cricut and put labels on these um, so that I know what's in them, but I do have them well organized. And it's not something that, like with my clothing, I need to see it often to know that I own it. It's different uh, for me with the bathroom stuff. Like this is my summer foundations and bronzers and stuff for when I have a tan. So as winter passes and I start to get a tan, I know to go seek these out, if that makes sense. Um, it's just nice to have these. This one's got like all my lash stuff in it. I did move my vanity out to our bedroom. And so out there, I just have like my regular day-to-day -day makeup. I don't wear fake lashes on the day-to-day -day and I don't need my summer makeup. So it's fine that it's in here and not with my vanity. This one is um, just my, remember I told you guys, I do like to buy uh, my products when they go on sale. So I have backups. So this is just all of my backups of my mascara. And you guys know when Bite went out of business, I bought a ton of my favorite bite mascara so that's in there and then this one is all like teeth stuff so it's teeth whitening stuff extra toothpaste etc i will eventually label those uh, but for now i just i really like this i like the tidiness of it i like it i like it a lot then right over here we just have a clear container um, this one i believe is from walmart from the home edit line and this is just where i keep my uh, everyday lotions I mean, I pushed things to the front so it makes it look like it's full of stuff. It's not entirely full, but my lotions and body oils, uh, I realized that, you know, I do have a, a lot of these types of products, but especially lotions and body oils, I'm kind of um, obsessed with. So <laughs> it's no surprise to me that I have a number of those. So those just sit right there. So they're easy access for when I jump out of the shower, I can grab one of these, depending on what it is, like oils I might actually put on my body inside the shower. Um, so I can just jump out, grab what I need, use it and put it away, uh, which is nice, handy, right? Yes. Then this is kind of my display shelf, if you will. This is the shelf that's meant to look pretty. 
and nice. It's the middle one. I didn't want to display a ton of stuff and have everything out because I do get overwhelmed by the clutteriness of it. This is fine for me for now. So this is a little like tiered stand. Again, this is from Amazon. I got it in a two pack and it's nice just to, you know, put out my perfume. These are the perfumes that I wear pretty much all the time, uh, as well as these that I have in the, the roller bottles and smaller ones. The lipsticks are here in my vanity area. I only have the lipsticks that I truly wear on a everyday basis. These are more of like the reds and the darker colors and things that I choose to wear for certain reasons, not necessarily an everyday lipstick. And then of course over here is the nail polish that's just kind of organized by brand. It's just a nice little display area in the cabinet and I like that a lot. And then as we move down, I won't get too much in the weeds here. Again, these little uh, bins are from Amazon. I really like these. They are nice and sturdy. They're white, not clear, even though you can see into the top of them this way. If I moved them up, you wouldn't be able to see into the top of them. So I just have like all of my shaving stuff for shaving, removal of hair. This is where I have my extra skincare products, things that again are, you know, new and unused, things I'm planning to try, etc. And then these are the two bins that I have like all of my summer skin stuff. So all of the like, suntan lotion, sunscreens, a couple of self tanners, uh, just lots of sunscreen, that type of thing in there. As we keep moving down, this is my extras or unused uh, products uh, that are hair care products. So again, like during the Sephora sale, I usually buy two, three, four of the Sephora hair dry shampoos because I really like those. I've got my extra of my Colleen Rothschild shampoo and conditioner. Um, I keep a big thing of this. Uh, because it's great for when you get styes and I get a lot of styes since we moved here and the farm and the dirt and the hay and the animals I just end up getting a lot of styes so that's one of the things that helps to clear them up so yeah it's just extra brand new unopened or extras um, of hair care products and this is the same thing but for skincare products again I know I have a lot of these product things I don't necessarily need to explain myself but I will say that Obviously, like I mentioned before, I've always loved to try new things, but I do get sent things as well. So it's just where I keep all that. And then in this very bottom one, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. These acrylic bins is where I keep all of my travel size items. So I have like skincare, hair, and body in these little bags. And so if I'm ever gonna be going on a trip away overnight, I just come here and I take things from here instead of trying to always bring my bigger full-size products or decant them into smaller things. If I can, I try to come through and see what I have in the travel size stuff to just take with me um, quick and easy. And then this bin is just my uh, makeup bags. So um, a couple different uh, makeup bag options that I have for, for traveling and carrying things as well as like my travel mirrors that are like the LED mirrors that light up. It's just all of my makeup bag travel type stuff. And the last thing over here just on the bottom is my big bottles of nail polish remover and these that I get from TJ Maxx that I love so much. It's the nail dryer spray stuff. I love those. They're like three bucks at TJ Maxx. So just keep that stuff at the bottom. One of the things that you might have noticed uh, when I showed you the bathroom originally was that our towels were all kind of stuffed on top of the cabinet that my husband was using. And this isn't, I don't think like a permanent long-term solution, but it does work for now. I got a basket because we typically roll our towels, but they are like oversized bath towels so they can be too big to actually sit on top of a shelf. To me, this was just the easiest, most convenient thing is just to throw the towels in here. We only have a few towels that my husband and I use and just wash them. We don't keep a copious amount of towels. Our kids pretty much use all white towels and we use these gray, brown ones. Some of them are in the wash right now, which is why it's not full, but it actually, I feel like is working really well for us. So good towel storage. I do still have the basket for wash rags that just sits up there. So that's where I keep uh, face towels, like wash rags, that kind of thing in that basket up there. I think I've talked about these before um, on a different like Amazon type video or something, but I love these things. These hooks that you get from Amazon, they come in like black, gold, a number of colors. They are perfect for hanging on the top of a shower area right here to hang your towels on, your robes on, anything like that that you might wanna hang. Uh, on your shower instead of like throwing it over. It's just really great because we open our shower door and we'll usually stick our towels right here to use when we get out. Um, it's just a nice, clean, tidy way. And you can also flip them and put them on the inside. You can hang things off of them inside the shower. There's lots of purposes for those, 
but I do love them. Now we're at the other cabinet. This is the other like Billy bookcase that we moved into the bathroom here. And this is next to my pedestal sink. And it is where I keep all my hair stuff, my daily skincare stuff, as well as a bunch of other crap. So I'll show you that real quick. In the top here, I have one of these like bins that has a lid that closes if I don't overstuff it. Um, I got these off of Amazon there. It's like a nesting set. I think there's three of them. And this is where I keep my big oversized Velcro rollers. At some point, I'd like to kind of condense this because I'll show you I've got some more over there. So I'd like to condense it. But I've also got this little tray that holds the hooky doos for my hot rollers. And then this is the clips. This is just like some of my like hot rollers and hair type stuff. I've got a, another set of Velcro rollers that's a little bit smaller and all their clips and stuff. Anyhow, so that's just like hair rollers, Velcro rollers, that kind of stuff. Um, and then in this little basket right here, I love these. They're so cute. Uh, I've just got uh, some extra lip products as well as like eye creams. Mostly, again, I told you I have a regular problem with getting styes. So I have a lot of eye drops, some medicated ones, some prescription ones to help with when I get a sty in my eye. That's a rhyme. Dr. Seuss style. In these little amber glass jars that I got at Target is where I keep all my hair ties, uh, my like silk sleeping scrunchies my little phone cord ones. Just all my little hair ties go in this one. And then my little flossers are in that one. And then this side is just all of my like face masks, my eye masks, that sort of thing. I know it's a lot guys, I know. This is my uh, daytime skincare and nighttime skincare. And I actually really like doing this, dividing it up like that because there's certain products that I just always use at night and certain products I always use in the morning and it's nice to just have them separated. Um, other than that, it's not super organized because I just reach in and grab what I need. And then I do keep like my deodorant and my dry shampoo just right here, ready to go. And then more of those containers from Target. So this is where I keep uh, and again, I, I do want to label these because it'll make it easier for me in the long run. So I do want to label them. But so for example, like this is acne products. So this is any of my products used for acne or breakouts, etc. Down here is um, all of my masks. So like the masks that come in jars that you have to apply, that sort of thing. And this one here is all of my like exfoliating like my enzyme polish and uh, you know like a resurfacing mask that kind of thing stuff to schluff things off of your skin when I label it I'll just call it like the schluffing bin and then this one at the bottom is just extra moisturizers skin oils just hydrating moisturizing products or that aren't like daily use kind of products are there as we move down we have my hair care products got a couple of things right here and then my basket of all of my um, hair brushes my big round brush my wet brush my little rat tail combs, things like that. So that's all my hair brushes are in that basket. And then down here, I just have another basket that's got hair clips and headbands. Um, this headband is on like a round plastic thing so you can see them and then I do have a couple extra that are just tossed on top of it. Uh, but I've just got my scrunchy headbands, my clips, just stuffed in that basket. Again, I don't like to over organize things if it's something that I know I'm just gonna grab and toss. I'm not gonna go crazy nuts about organizing it. This is just where I keep like my tiny elastics, my um, bobby pens, things of that nature. Just right here in this little plastic one, got my Invisalign box right there. It just sits on top of this one. This one is just like the spa headbands, you know, if you're gonna give yourself a facial or whatever, or if I'm really gonna go to town doing something on my face, I'll use this to keep my hair back. It's pretty empty. And in fact, I could just put my Invisalign in there. I know where to find them when I need them. And then at the very bottom is just my two different hot roller sets right there. And then my um, Dyson, the little, it comes in like a little train case kind of thing to keep it nice and tidy. So I just keep that right there. And lastly, at some point I will do something better for this. And I do usually tie these up and put them in here a little bit neater than that. But I just have a basket that I drop my curling irons and hair dryers and stuff into and I just tuck it off to the side right there. That's all I've come up with at this point. Eventually when we redo the bathroom um, and I have an actual vanity right here, then I will hopefully have drawers that I can keep some of the hot tools in. And then I do intend to replace that mirror with a vanity mirror, meaning it opens and you can set things in it. 
So I'll probably end up putting like my skincare stuff in that mirror there. Last but certainly not least is this cabinet that my husband is using for his stuff as well as a little bit of our kids stuff is in here. Ugh. Up top here, I've got like the little jar with a scoop in it for our bath salts, Q-tips, uh, like, you know, the face washing pads and cotton pads can look pretty up here. I actually have like a decorative tray that's gonna go here, but it hasn't arrived yet. So um, I'll set those on there. But then, I mean, obviously y'all, you, you don't need to necessarily see all my husband's stuff, but he's got all of his stuff. As I said in the last video, it's all of his deodorant, toothbrush, and ball washing stuff. That's basically the extent of his products. Um, some hair care stuff. And then down here at the bottom, I've got my uh, little kids hair basket. At some point I do want to do like maybe a reel or a short or something because it's obviously doesn't need its own video but having this uh, like morning basket has been so fantastic I keep their brushes their toothbrushes uh, face wipes got like this little thing that organizes all of their hair ties and stuff so this like kid basket morning kid basket is so awesome because I just drag this out, take care of everybody's skin, hair, everything all at once, and then away the basket goes. It's really, really handy. And then um, over here behind the tub, I just have this little rolling cart that has the little kids' bath bombs in it. Uh, another thing down here that has their shampoo and conditioner. And then um, on the floor in front of it is where I usually keep this little basket. The kids have raided it, but it normally has their bath toys in it. They've got them playing in the kitchen right now on the kitchen counter because, well, bath toys are also regular toys and vice versa. So got a couple scrubbers in there, but then this is just a perfect little basket for um, kids' bath toys. You can leave it in there in the tub until it like drains all the water out. And then I can just pick it up and put it over here to the side and it's out of the way. All right, my friends, that is it for the decluttering and organizing of the bathroom. I have to say, you know, obviously having like these big cabinets in here is like, well, it's a big piece of furniture or whatever. I really like the simplicity of having everything put away in two cabinets and not a bunch of little stuff all over the place. I really like how it just feels like things are put away much tidier. Um, and I think if you have husbands or kids, you also know that like, cleanliness begets cleanliness. And so once things are organized and put away, it's helpful for the other members of your family to stay on top of that because it's just like they, it's a lot easier to notice when something is out of place when you don't have as much stuff out and like on display all the time. So I just really like how it's all tucked away. Now, I know I mentioned in the last video about the frosted glass on the front of the Billy bookcases. I haven't decided if I want to do that because I didn't like I like the way that it turned out on my husband's cabinet. It's, it's okay. I just don't know that I like love it. And so I'm afraid to ruin the glass doors by doing that. Uh, somebody mentioned, a couple people I think even mentioned that there's like a peel and stick type frosted glass stuff. And I think I've seen that before at Lowe's or Home Depot. So I'll probably get that um, and peel and stick and see if I like that better. There's still more to do in here. It's an ongoing thing. That's the other thing I feel like sometimes with these decluttering and organizing videos, it, it can feel like you have to do this all at once and you have to make it perfect and it's like you got one shot like this is not like an Eminem song he got more than one shot you can change things as you go that's totally acceptable and that's what I'm doing is that like I've organized things how I think they'll work but I'm not married to it it's not set in stone if it doesn't work for me I'll change it and I'm okay with that that's it for this bathroom declutter organization update tour esque whatever you want to call it uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, there's way more to go I think next up we're gonna do the kitchen that's gonna be a couple of videos because we've got to do kitchen refrigerator all of that so more to come in the decluttering series. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.